And joining me now is Dan Lepp. He is the CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield Michigan. Dan, it's always great to see you up here at Mackinac. Christy, good to see you. How, what kind of great conversations have you already had so far? It feels like there's a lot of energy on the island. Yeah, there is, and I just left the, the, uh, the mayor, uh, Mayor Duggan, and I am so excited about what, what he's doing. You know, we made a big investment in the city of Detroit, moving our entire um, uh, employment, uh, 7,300 people to downtown Detroit. And I am so excited what the mayor's doing. Door to door in, in the neighborhoods, downtown, midtown, it's all really exciting. I happened to be in uh, with da Jamie Dimon last week when he made his announcement. Absolutely. And it's just so exciting. To have that kind of investment come on the national level, what do you think that does to elevate Detroit's profile? And knowing that you were one of the companies that started that charge, because it's not always easy to be the first ones in and say, you know what, we're in, regardless of what's happening right now. Right. I, f first of all, I'm proud of what we did. But I think as you look forward, it's really a recognition of the national um, money scene, so to speak. Uh, recognizing that Detroit is a good investment. And it's not just about Blue Cross or DTE or General Motors uh, saying, you know, Detroit's great. It's really a national view that Detroit is worth investing in, and that's a big deal. And, you know, sort of on the good side and the bad side, you, you hear people uh, complaining that their rents are going up, that the rents are too high, and it's hard, which is, you know, you feel, feel for folks. On the other hand, the fact that there's so much demand, that means that they, you know, they can do what they do. And so I think it's great for the city. We're excited. Uh, I think most of our employees are excited. It's terrific. On a national level, you must get people asking you, how are things in Detroit? How does the fact that Detroit is going through a bankruptcy process impact your business when you talk to other CEOs from around the country? Oh, absolutely. I, in fact, uh, two weeks ago, I was at the National Blue Cross Association meeting, and they, they asked that question, how is Detroit? And I'm proud to talk about Detroit, what, what we're doing, how it's going. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's quite exciting. And, you know, I grew up in, on, in the city uh, on the east side, and, you know, I've never seen anything like I see today. So, uh, you know, I'm proud and excited to talk about it. All right, so let's take a look. This has been a transformative year for you, for your company, and also going through the healthcare enrollment. How has that impacted business? Uh, business is good. Uh, I think generally our business is up. Uh, we've gone on, on the individual market, which is sort of where the exchange, where people have signed up through, um, through the Affordable Care Act. We've gone from 180,000 uh, members in individual coverage to almost 350,000. So it's been a big deal, and I think generally it's been good. Obviously, there have been hiccups. Uh, there's more complexity than I'd like to see. Having said that, we're covering a lot more people, and that's really exciting. What have some of the biggest questions been from people about this entire process and signing up from healthcare? What are the, the biggest issues that you think that they're having? I think generally it's the complexity issue of you know how you're covered, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. um, I think generally, as a history, uh, we've had group coverage collectively, and we've been covered by our HR departments, mm -hmm. you know, wherever you work, right. and now more and more people are being covered on their own, so they need to get in the game a lot more than they ever have. And so there's a lot more questions about how I'm covered, what's covered, what do I pay, what do I don't pay, that type of thing. Uh, having said that, there's a lot more people being covered, and, and I think that's a good thing. I want to take a look at maybe Michigan as a whole, and as a CEO, how do you feel about the business environment in the state of Michigan right now? Have we made progress, and where, if we have, where, what areas do you see? Yeah, I think we've, we've made huge, um, um, huge uh, progress. Uh, I give the governor a lot of credit for him being, you know, in, in a spot being um, collective with and, and collaborative with the business community. I think we've done a great job. I mean, you look at, we're covering 150,000 more individuals in health insurance. That's a good thing. I think uh, generally, um, I see in, uh, in, in our business, the, the people we cover in business, uh, increases five, six, eight uh, percent. So the business, the unemployment rate's lower in Michigan than it, than it was a year ago. Mm -hmm. So I think generally things are picking up. I think pe people feel better about it. 
Uh, I don't think they feel great about it, but I think that's generally we have an uptick that's sort of going this way, not that way. Not a, not a sharp right. jump. All right. right, so what are you going to take from the island? We always talk about after the Mackinac Policy Conference, there's a lot of energy and momentum. What would you like to take from the island this time around? I think the most exciting thing about the island, and I just heard it from Mayor Duggan, is Detroit is making a comeback. What, what he's doing, what's going on, is a huge, huge plus for the state of Michigan, for the region, and that's what I'm excited about. Future of Detroit impacts us all. Absolutely. It definitely does. Dan Lepp, CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Christy.